Hello, AML Wrestling fans. Coach Josh Gary here with your preview for our next event, Wanted Man, West Iredale High School in Statesville, North Carolina, on Sunday, April 28th. And not only is this an AML wrestling event, but it is also a fundraiser for Purple Heart Homes. And we are bringing the noise. Not only do we have our normal meet and greets, but we have a fantastic card lined up for you at this event. Starting off with a special rematch. After the events of Seize the Moment, Atrocity Cruel was disqualified in his matchup with Billy Brash. And if you've been following AML Wrestling for any length of time, you know that Billy Brash is not going to take this sitting down. He has already requested a rematch, and AML Wrestling officials have granted Atrocity Cruel versus Billy Brash 2. And speaking of Seize the Moment, we saw A.J. Francis, or maybe a side that we haven't seen of A.J. Francis before, known as the top dollar in professional wrestling. White Mike inserted himself after A.J. Francis decided to take liberties with his opponent, challenged him to a match, and A.J. Francis emphatically agreed. Will White Mike be able to pick up the win and be able to regain the honor that A.J. Francis snuffed out? At our last event, or will AJ Francis show why he is the top dollar in professional wrestling? The AML Wrestling Prestige Championship is on the line in a doors, ladders, and chairs match. A DLC, which is an AML Wrestling staple. The Beer City Bruiser looks to defend his newly won Prestige Championship in a match against five other competitors. Basically, anything goes. Doors are legal. Ladders are legal. Chairs are legal. This is a match that seemingly was requested by former champion Logan Quindell and AML Wrestling owner Tracy Myers has given Logan more than he bargained for. Not only do we have the Beer City Bruiser and former champion Logan Quindell, but we also have the combustible element of Colby Carino. Fans of AML Wrestling are sure to be on the lookout for Colby jumping off of a tall structure in Statesville, North Carolina. But not only that, but we also have the Sigma male, LDJ, making his return to AML Wrestling action, along with former Future Stars of AML Wrestling champion J.R. Miller and the Dreadlock Demolition Machine, Bojack. This six-pack DLC challenge is guaranteed to be fireworks at Wanted Man. The AML Wrestling World Tag Team Championships are on the line as Zane and Dave Dawson, the Dawson brothers, look to defend against the Andersons, C.W. Anderson, Brock Anderson, and as always, they are accompanied to the ring by Miss Brittany Marie and the enforcer, Arn Anderson. At Seize the Moment, the Dawsons successfully defended their championships, but there were a lot of, let's just say, extracurricular activities, and the AML wrestling officials have decided that we need to have a definitive winner. No questions asked. And so they have afforded the Andersons this rematch. Will we see the Dawsons retain, or will we see the Andersons reclaim more gold in AML wrestling? The AML Wrestling Champion Brad Attitude requested the match, and AML Wrestling officials have granted it. After the results in Lexington, North Carolina, in our six-man tag match, Abuse of Power, JAC, and Zuka King brutally attacked Brad Attitude. Afterwards, Brad Attitude got on the microphone and said, Hey, in Statesville, North Carolina, we're bringing in a real good friend of mine, and how about we two go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you two in the main event? And that's exactly what we're going to do. For the first time in 15 years, Brad Attitude and his best friend, Nick Nemeth, haven't been a tag team since their days down in Florida, are going to team up and take on abuse of power. Will Brad Attitude be able to get a little bit of that power and respect back? Or will JAC and Zuka King distance themselves more from the AML champion? There you have it, folks, our preview for our next event. We have those matches and more. We've got Axton Ray, Jackson Drake, Diego Hill, and more. We have a meet and greet. I hope to see you all there. Remember, this is a fundraiser for Purple Heart Homes, so definitely come out, support this cause, support the school, support a and Wrestling. I hope to see you there Sunday, April 28th, Statesville, North Carolina.